Hey guys, another right Dev here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a client side VIP door. So, what that means is that if one player were to buy VIP, this player right here is going to buy it, he will be able to walk through the door. So, the door will be invisible to him, but this player can still see it and they cannot walk through it. But if they were to buy VIP as well, then they can go join player two on the other side. So yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so I'm in my base plate, as you can see, and the first thing we need to do is actually create our game pass. So to do that, first we're going to need to save our game to Roblox. So we can click on File, and click Save to Roblox. Now we can go to the Roblox website and go to the Create tab on the top of the screen. From there, you're going to go to My Creations and Experiences, and you're just going to go ahead and find your game. Once you have your game, you're going to click on this little settings area, and then you can go down to create pass. You can go ahead and choose an image. So for me, I'm going to use this epic picture of a statue of me. And then you can go ahead and name your pass to VIP or whatever you want, and add a description. Once you have your game pass ready, you can go ahead and click preview, and then you can click verify upload. After that, you should see your pass down here. You're going to go ahead and click on it. And once it loads, you can click these three dots and click configure. Then you can go to sales. You're going to click item for sale and you're going to set a price for your game pass. And click save. Then you can click go to details. What you're going to do now is you're going to look at the link. And you're going to see this random batch of numbers called the asset ID. You're going to need to copy this because we're going to need it for our scripts. And for me, I'm just going to delete the game pass for my inventory. So that way I can do demonstrations with it later. So now that we have our game pass, we can actually create a door. And if you want to, you can even add some text. So I've gone ahead and added the text label that says buy with a UI corner inside of it to make it round and a text label that just says VIP. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a new part and we're going to scale it to cover up the entire buy sign. So when you're done, it should look something like this. So now you're going to anchor it, set the transparency to 1, and set can collide to off. And you can go ahead and rename this part to be click part. And we can go ahead and group the door into a model and name it to door. So this click part is going to allow us to click on the text label. And now we're going to add in a remote event to replicate its storage. And we can go ahead and name it to remove VIP door. And what this remote event is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to remove the door from the client side and not the server side. So instead of the entire server losing the door, it's only going to be the VIP player who can't see the door. So now on the click part we made, we can add in a click detector and we can add in a script to that click detector and we can rename the script to prompt purchase. So what's going to happen is when we click on the click part, it's going to prompt us to buy the VIP game pass. So we can start by creating a variable for our game pass. So we can do local ID is equal to this is equal to the game pass ID or the asset ID that we copied when we created our game pass. And then we're going to create a variable for marketplace service. So we can do local marketplace service. It's going to be equal to game colon get service. And we're going to get marketplace service. So now we're going to create a function that runs whenever the player clicks on the click part. So we can do script.parent.mouseclick colon connect function. And we can set the parameter to player. And then we can just do marketplace service, colon prompt, game pass purchase, player, comma, ID. So we're prompting the player that clicked the click part to purchase our game pass, which is this right here. So now if we click it, this it's weird error bro. pops up. This is a weird Roblox bug, so if this pops up, you're going to go to settings, security, and you're going to click allow third party sales if that bug happens. Now if we click the button, we get prompted with the option to buy VIP. But if we were to buy it, nothing happens. So now we're going to add in a script to service script service. And we can go ahead and name this to game pass 
purchase. So the script is basically going to do is it's going to check when we buy the game pass or if we already own the game pass and it's going to fire this remote event. It's going to tell another script to delete the door. So first of all, we're going to set a variable for this remove VIP door event. So you can do local event equals game dot replicate storage colon wait for child and we're going to get remove VIP door. Then we can set a variable for marketplace service. So you can do local marketplace service equals game colon get service and we're gonna get marketplace service so now we need a variable for the door model in workspace so you can do local door equals to game dot workspace dot door actually we can do colon wait for child door and we can set the variable for the id so you can do local id equals the asset id of the game pass pause sorry to interrupt the video I just wanted to let you know about the new channel memberships I just released on the channel. Members get shoutouts every video and access to the source code of all videos uploaded after November of 2021 and so much more. If you're interested, the link will be down in the description. And thank you Fee for being a level 3 channel member. Anyway, back to the video. So now what we need to do is we need to make a function that runs whenever a player clicks this button to buy the game pass right here. So we can do marketplace service dot prompt 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 how do I keep misspelling prompt game pass purchase finished colon connect function and we're gonna get the player. We're gonna get the game pass shown and we're gonna check if they purchased it. So all that we're doing is we're getting the player, we're getting the game pass that is shown to the player, which is this game pass right here, and we're checking if the player clicked purchased or they clicked cancel. So we're gonna check if they purchased it. So we can do if purchased equals equals true and game pass shown equals equals ID then. So we're checking if the player clicked purchased and checking that they purchased the vip game pass we can print the player the game pass shown and that they purchased it and then we're just gonna fire our event so we can do event colon fire client and we're gonna do player comma door so this is checking if the player just bought the game pass now we want to check if the player owns the game pass as soon as they join the game down here, we can create another function. We're going to do game dot players dot players added or dot player added colon connect function. And we're going to get player and we're going to check if they own the game pass. So we can do if marketplace service colon user owns game pass to sync. We're going to do player dot user ID comma ID. Then we're also going to fire the event. So we can do event colon fire client. We're gonna do player comma door. So we're checking when the player joins the game if that player owns this game pass. And if they do, then we're gonna fire the, cl the client. So now in starter UI, we can add in a local script and name it to door deleter. So this is the client that's gonna be fired, that's gonna delete the door. We can do local event equals to game dot replicate storage colon wait for child and we're gonna get remove vip door and when the event is run we need to delete the door so you can do event dot on client event colon connect function and we're gonna name the fun the parameter to door and then we're just gonna simply do door colon destroy just like that so that should be it so i have two players here as you can see and if one of them were to buy the door you're going to see that the door is going to disappear for this player and that they can walk through it while the other player cannot get through still. So let's pretend there's, let's pretend there's a wall around the door. But if this player were to buy VIP as well, they will be able to walk through. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And I also recently launched channel memberships on this channel. So if you want to join, then... That would be kind of nice. Anyways, see you.